joining us here on The Wax at 7 a.m. I'm Caitlin Newclow. And I'm Nicole Nalepa. Good to have you here. And let's send things right over to Scott Gagliardi for a check on your first alert forecast. Or rinse and repeat, Scott? That's exactly what we're looking at for today. Temperatures, they'll be nice and mild to even start the day, a little bit above average. And later on this afternoon, we're looking at those 60s to right around 70. Here's a live look in Old Saybrook. A fantastic start to the day. We had some clouds yesterday. But today we're not even seeing that to start. You see a lot of sunshine out there and that's going to continue throughout the rest of the day today. What we're tracking right now are those temperatures and you will see a 50 in Chester. Still holding on to those 30s though up in the Litchfield Hills. You see Salisbury right now 39 degrees. Everybody else looking at those middle to upper 40s. But if you do notice the rest of the day today you can keep that sunshine around. You'll need the sunglasses for sure. Looking at those 60s, upper 60s to right around 70 degrees, cooling off tonight. But we are tracking some showers in our first alert seven day forecast. We'll have the very latest coming up in just a few minutes. I'll take it from here. Scott, thank you so much. Good morning, everybody. Quick check on your traffic here if you're heading out the door 701. Uh, we do unfortunately have a serious incident in Bristol. This is a criminal investigation. We have a crew on the way to the scene, but there is a road closure associated. So first alert in Broad Street is closed between Todd and Emmett Streets in Bristol. So this is a major roadway through the area. Please make sure that you're avoiding it this morning. Also road closure in Portland Route 17A closed at the fairground because of water over the roadway. But a live look outside. Scott was just mentioning that we've got bright, abundant sunshine. So grab a sun glasses as you're heading out the door. Live look here in Hartford, the capital city traffic volume building through the area. Same story in Middletown along Route 9, uh, Waterbury 84 east and westbound and in Meriden 691 east and westbound. I'm Caitlin Francis with your Connecticut Chevy first alert traffic report driven by your Connecticut Chevy dealers. All right, thanks Kate. Also this morning a passerby is recovering in the hospital after he found himself caught up in the middle of gunfire at a gas station in West Haven. And just hours before that shooting, police made several arrests at a popular town beach. This all unfolded last night. We want to get right to Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler live in our newsroom with the latest details. So, Olivia, what do we know? Caitlin and Nicole, the shooting happened at a gas station on Campbell and Noble Street in West Haven. Hours before that, police arrested a handful of people for their involvement in a party gone wrong at the West Haven Town Beach. These incidents led to two police officers being injured. Investigators and local leaders have their hands full trying to understand and investigate these back to back crimes. The shooting happened at seven Monday night. Police couldn't say how many people were arrested in regard to the shooting, but did say arrests have been made. The passerby that was shot suffered a minor injury and is expected to be okay. West Haven Police Chief Joseph Perno says an officer suffered a minor injury trying to arrest those involved in the shooting. Another police officer suffered a minor injury while making an arrest at the West Haven Town Beach. Monday afternoon, police responded to a brawl that led to these multiple arrests. West Haven Police Chief Joseph Perno says what happened on the beach disrupted a handful of families and should not have happened. I was very, very upset when uh People that were coming here to enjoy the beach left because of this. It was very upsetting to see that uh, parents, the people were walking their dogs, and then they had to leave because of this nonsense. Right now, police are not connecting the brawl and the gas station shooting together. However, they are close in distance. Chief Perno says there were about 2,000 people that visited the beach on Monday. In the next half hour, I'll explain how town leaders plan to take action against the recent crimes. Live in the studio, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Police at Yale are on high alert this morning after two people there were shot near the university's campus last night. Yale actually sent out an alert about this. It happened on Munson Street at about 930 and we've been hitting the phones this morning trying to get an update on the condition of the victims and if police have identified any suspects. Moving you to Hamden, where someone discovered a man's body floating in the water yesterday morning. It was found in Lake Whitney, which is right by Hartford Turnpike and Roger Road. At this point, it's unclear how long the body was there, and police are trying to identify the victim and figure out how the person died. Investigators say there is no sign of foul play, though. Three children are recovering this morning after they were hit while they were jogging in Glastonbury. The crash happened yesterday on Hubbard Street. Police say the driver of the car slammed into three kids. They were all rushed to Connecticut Children's and are expected to be okay. And the driver is now cooperating with police.
We have some breaking news overnight and some good breaking news. We always love that. We have two members of the UConn Huskies who are now heading to the WNBA. Yes, very exciting. Last night in Brooklyn, uh, the forward Aaliyah Edwards and guard Nika Mule officially began their pro careers. Yeah, Aaliyah <laughs> Edwards, the All-American forward for the Huskies, was chosen with the sixth pick overall by the Washington Mystics. Edwards, who averages 17 and a half points and nine rebounds a game, will have some immediate opportunities to start playing. And that's all because Washington star Alina Deladon is not playing this upcoming season. Edwards being taken in the first round now marks Gino Oriyama's 28th player to be drafted in a first round. That's the most all time by a college coach. And Nika Mule was drafted in the second round, 14th overall by the Seattle Storm. The all time leader in assists for UConn looks to be a good fit for the Storm because she can spread the ball around to Seattle's superstars. Meantime, Iowa star Caitlin Clark was selected number one overall in the WNBA draft by the Indiana Fever. Clark's achievements on the court have been well documented and she's sure to be the most scrutinized rookie in WNBA history. And the time right now is 706 and what we're looking at outside for right now are fantastic skies. We have hardly any clouds wall to wall sunshine. Here's a live look in New London. You're going to need those uh, sunglasses if you're heading out first thing this morning. It's a comfortable morning as well. You can see even in New London right now looking at 49 degrees, a lot of areas, a good 5 to 10 degrees above where we should be for this time of year. First Alert Live Radar is scanning the state dry, and we'll expect that to continue for the rest of the day today and for most of tomorrow, but there are some changes on the way beyond that. Starting the day, we're looking at those temperatures. 30s in the north, where we'd expect it to be in Salisbury, 39. About 44 in Torrington and in Hartford, 40 in Meriden. The mild spot is 50 in Chester. You'll still need a jacket if you head outside this morning, but it is... A, bit, a, little bit, a little bit better than it should be for this time of year. But our wind speeds, they're calm right now. It's so not expecting much of a wind chill no matter where you are. Our bar forecast does show the sunshine sticks with us throughout the entire day. Another very warm day. But like I mentioned before, we're tracking some showers in our first alert seven day forecast. I'll have the very latest on that coming up in just a few minutes. Nicole? All right, thanks, Scott.